Hi, my name is Maria Flores and I'll be reading We Play Would You Rather at the Galentine's Day Party by Ms. Lozada Oliva. I have a good one. I say to a group of girls who are my friends for the hour. Okay, ready? Would you rather be completely covered in fur, like head to toe, monster type of shit, or stay with me, stay with me, be perfectly smoothy smooth in all of the right places, thighs, crotch, armpits, upper lip, neck, but here is the cut, that all right? All of the hair that would have grown in those places takes the form of a tail, like a real live tail that swings back and forth. You have to make it, make a hole for in all of your clothes. It'll thump when you're horny, wag when you are lying, knock things over at the coffee shop in front of your crush. It'll get vengeful when ignored. So in the middle of a presentation or whatever, it'll swirl forward and try to make you remember that it exists by placing itself over your mouth to make, to look like a funny little impossible mustache. Basically, it just makes your laugh a whole lot louder and obvious. But this way you never have to shave or wax again, you know? Haha. <laughs> the girls look at each other and then at me. Okay, but what if I love my body hair? Nancy with a septum ring asks. I think you should consider the way this question is shaped by the male gaze. Carla with the eye cat eyeglasses states. Honesty, says Sabrina, who works for a non profit she feels ambivalent about. I haven't shaved in like five months and I feel really free. Oh my god, yo, yes. Greta with the red frosting on her teeth interrupts. This is my song. She sloshes her red drink and bounces away. A girl with thick eyebrows press, picks the Hershey's kiss off her booby cupcake and asks me, what color would it be? I don't know, I tell her, but I always choose the tail. So I chose this poem because when I read it, I like completely understood why she wrote it and it, like related to it because if I were in her position and I heard that question or I said that question, I'd pick the tail too. So to add on to my explanation, I really like that poem because she writes and portrays being like a hairy Latina as a very real and beautiful thing. And I really liked it because it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about it. And I love that she was strong enough to just write her feelings about it and everything. Thank you.